It's Joe the CRM chap here with another video in my series all about Microsoft Exam MB400. This is the developer's exam for those who are building or extending solutions on top of either Dynamics 365 Online or the Power Platform. So today we're continuing uh, to look at the Web API in today's video. So in the previous video we saw, which I'll, I'll link in the comments below, in the description below, um, we saw how we can set up our authorization and authentication profile to get into the Web API. So we're going to follow on from that and we're going to talk about the discovery URL in this video today. Now the discovery URL uh, effectively provides a gateway for you to detect and see uh, and it, what you've got access to for a particular instance when you're getting into um, based on the account that you're logging in as. So potentially, you know, for any Dynamics 365 or Power Platform deployment, uh, it's typically not going to be the case that you have just a single environment. You will have maybe a dev test, a UAT, maybe, you know, multiple production environments, depending if you've got different divisions or things like that. So the discovery URL is really great at providing you with the mechanism to detect and get the relevant details that you need to then route your requests to the appropriate environment. So the discovery URL um, is you access the properties on it using a GET request. Um, so at the moment we can see we've got our environment up there, uh, MB400, uh, which was set up in the previous video. Uh, I just want to change this to back to 9.1, uh, like so. Uh, close that down. And then in the GET up here, because we have defined the discovery URL as a environment um, variable in our environment, um, all we need to do here is just type in disco URL, like so, with the curly braces, click on send, and we can see the request lets us in straight away. But at this level, it's not telling us anything particularly useful about what environments we've got access to. So all we need to do here is just add on instances to the end of it. And then straight away, we start to get some useful details back. Um, so we can see in this particular case, I've got my user account that I'm using to log in as has got access to four different environments. Now, that's the important thing to um, always remember when you contact the discovery URL. It is ultimately going to be based on your own security privileges. So if you've only got access to one environment at a particular tenant level, you're only going to see that one environment. Okay. Now, provided you can get into that, you then start to see some really useful information on here. So, for example, you can get the organization unique name. Um, so that may be useful depending on what you're doing from an SDK standpoint. Uh, you get the friendly name of it, you know, what state is it in, is it active or inactive, current version, which can be quite useful sometimes. And then finally, most crucially, the URLs that you then need to use to basically, you know, do a, a specific web API request targeting, uh, targeting those endpoints. Now the discovery URL does have multiple versions. In this particular case, we're using version 9.1, but we can potentially go back to an earlier version if we so choose. It really depends in terms of what you're trying to do with this. So for example, if I was to change this to 9.0 like so, click update. If I then run this request again, we can see it's gone to the version 9 endpoint uh, as opposed to 9.1. It's still returning the same information. Um, so typically you want to just make sure that you're always using the uh, 9.1 endpoint wherever you can. Uh, so with that in mind, I'm just going to quickly change that back to 9.1 like so. And now, and in addition, because this is an OData endpoint, we can see we've got OData context on here. We can also run OData queries against this as well. Um, you know, so for example, if we wanted to query and get the details of a specific instance, let's say, all I need to do is just add on um, get the GUID for that, uh, do an open and close brackets around it, click on send, and I get the details of that instance back straight away. If I wanted to query based on the unique name, so for example, if we wanted to you know, only get organizations that maybe um, have my initials on it, so JJG, uh, might, uh, might be capitals, but let's find out. Uh, I think that that's looking correct, I think. Let me just try that again. Uh, it should be correct. Uh, unique name equals JJG. Errors occurred. Okay, maybe that one doesn't work. Um, what we can, but what we can also do is, um, know, we probably need to do something like because there's no data endpoint. We need to do um, a query like so. Then we do dollar uh, filter uh, equals. Uh, so if we were to do something like uh, it will be friendly name, friendly name equals JJG. 
yeah so that works instead so yeah um, so that's what we do to filter on that so as you can see it's a fully compliant OData endpoint and we can do what, whatever we want in terms of interrogating and finding out more about the instances that we've got access to so that's pretty much it for the discovery URL in a, in a sort of fairly brief nutshell uh, you will find yourself working with it fairly often uh, whenever you're targeting multiple different environments uh, particularly when you're working from code as well uh, you will always want to try and use the discovery URL to sort of try and detect and find out okay which instance do I need to connect to in the first instance a lot of the SDK tooling that you work with you will use the discovery URL um, as part of the interactive login prompts in order to get the details of the instances you've got access to so it's a really central component to the web APIs and then using this we can then go further in to the web to the specific web API and execute specific operations uh, which we'll see in the in some of the next videos in this series. Okay so that wraps up for today. Hope this video has been helpful in explaining the concept and showing how it works in detail. Please like and subscribe to the channel uh, if you enjoy these videos. It'd be great to have you along uh, have your support along and hopefully we're going to be doing a lot more of these videos in the future as well. Um, so what it's me say is take care and have a great day.